Hello creators. When we develop a new mobile app, we spend some time developing the user interface or UI as we see here, as well as the app's functionality with blocks of code as you see here. When we're done developing the user interface and code, we spend some time testing the functionality of our app. There are three common ways to do this. One is to use a companion app, either on a school-issued tablet or your own personal iOS or Android device. And another popular way is using an emulator. This video will show you how to use the emulator. On your school-issued laptop or Chromebook, you should see a icon on your desktop that looks like this. It looks like a puzzle piece with a Android head. This is known as the AI Starter app. On my desktop, you can see the AI Starter app icon over on the left, and I'm going to double click to launch this. Sometimes this does not immediately appear. However, down at the bottom of your screen on your taskbar, you should see the icon appear. And if you click on that one time, you will see this black window open up. This black window does not appear to be doing anything, but it's actually a very important program running in the background on your computer. One of the most important things to note is that we do not close this window ever by clicking on the red X. We always close this window by clicking Control C to quit. So you might want to start by practicing that first. Control C to quit and you'll get shut down. We're now going to relaunch this. And now that this is running in the background, I'm ready to launch my emulator. So I often like to position my window so that I can see that black window in the background. That's going to provide me with some feedback in just a moment. When I go back to MIT App Inventor and go to the Connect option and choose Emulator, I'm going to see a pop-up. And I'm also going to see some activity here on that black screen. This can take some time, so please be patient. All right, I have just seen a emulator pop up, and that emulator looks like kind of an old fashioned phone that your grandparents might use. I'm going to move and position that phone. And the trick here is just to be very patient. If you're doing this for the first time on a new device, uh, it is likely that you're going to see very uh, several different menus, as well as some options to update uh, your system or your device. And you're going to want to choose either update, if that's an option, or wait, if that's an option. We're going to never click cancel, because we often need to progress through a series of steps that are required before we can launch the emulator for a first time. And if everything goes well, we will eventually see our app's user interface appear on this uh, emulator. Here's an example of an option to stop this application. I'm not going to click that. I'm just going to wait patiently. And there we go. My app is now loaded. And if I want to test my app, I can click on a particular button and test this soundboard. Good luck. And if you have any challenges, please make sure you talk to your teacher. Thanks.